What if I told you that Rising Storm 2, the visceral Vietnam game, had a single player campaign, which you weren't fighting with and alongside your fellow Americans, which you were actually placed in the boots of one of the Viet Cong, fighting desperately to defend your homeland. Whoa, whoa, settle down. Don't do anything stupid. Look like Yankee. Listen, number one. You did him out. So, unbeknownst to me and probably many of you, back in 2011, a Vietnamese video game studio called Hiker Games released an FPS called 7554. Now, for whatever reason, this game wasn't as popular in the West as it was in the East. But believe it or not, it has some pretty high production value for its time. I mean, you could compare the game to what was out currently with the Call of Duties. Quite frankly, I've even read that some people find this story much more interesting. Now this studio, Hiker Games, was established back in 2009. They're kind of most famous for being the first game producer, Vietnam, to put its game, Toy Odyssey, on all three leading distribution platforms of the world. Steam, Xbox, PS4. It is also the producer of a series of mobile games praised by the gamer community, Caravan War being one of them. Now, just a couple years ago, back in 2020, Hiker Games began crowdfunding for 300-475. Now, I don't know how you say that, but it is 7554's successor. Now, is this a remake, a remaster, or a sequel? If I had to guess, it would be the latter. More of a sequel than a simple rework or a remaster. Through crowdfunding, Hyper Games was hoping to make about 20 billion VND, or whatever the Vietnamese currency is. And after 10 months, the project mobilized 871 million. Far below the expectation, however, Hiker Games still hopes that the project will reach the goal set for it. And I quote, We know that the teaser video has important significance which decides the success of the crowdfunding. We are working very seriously on it, a representative of the studio said. He said that with the limited time, there are still some shortcomings in the video, but it will be good enough to prove the feasibility of the project to those who still doubt the project. According to Hiker Games, 300 and 475 will be developed within three years, and the studio will need about 50 people, and it needs 20 billion VND to develop the game. I don't know why, but I cackle every time I say the name of the game. So within a matter of a month ago or so, they finished the teaser, and we're gonna go ahead and check it out now before we move on. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Now, if you ask me, playing as the Viet Cong in a single-player campaign sounds like a pretty awesome idea. It could be a whole lot of fun. I mean, anything could be possible. The treachery you'd see. Your buddy looks over you, opens his vest, he's got bombs strapped to his chest as he runs and jumps on a freaking M1 Abrams or something. I mean, we're gonna witness pure savagery, I'm sure. And what lends itself to video gaming better than pure savagery? Now, with not a whole lot out there about this game, it leaves a whole lot to speculate. Of course, we are getting a single-player 
multiplayer campaign. In fact, the first game, 7554, was single player only. I believe there was no multiplayer at all. It was a very linear, almost exactly like Call of Duty, linear single player campaign. However, being that it wouldn't take too much resources and time to throw together the smallest bit of multiplayer, or better yet for this game, maybe even co-op. Now the footage running in the background leads me to believe that they are working on some kind of multiplayer if they're making big enough maps for tanks, but like I said, at this point it's all pure speculation. Now they've reached only a fraction of their goal when it comes to revenue, but as they mentioned, they're hoping now that the trailer's out they'll get a little more traction in the crowdfunding area. But if you ask me, that trailer looks like freaking Rising Storm 2, maybe a little bit better. And if the game can pull off that same aesthetic, I don't see why it wouldn't be a success, especially here in the States. But I want to know what you think down in the comments. Do you think there's room for this kind of game? Do Americans or British or German or or Europeans, do people want to play as the Viet Cong? Is that taboo? I mean, I don't think it is, but you know, I'm not everybody. Seriously though, I want to know what you guys think. Let's get a good pool of opinions down in the comments. Also, would you be okay with just a single player of Kane? Would you be okay with just a single player campaign? How bad do you want multiplayer? Me, I'm a big multiplayer guy, so yes, I want multiplayer. Alright, so we know that we're probably going to be able to operate tanks. What about helicopters? <laughs> anyway, at this point in development, it's all talk but I'd love to talk about it. Also, while you're down in the comments, leave your Discord name and number. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed to the YouTube channel, be in our Discord, and leave your Discord name and number in a comment, and you could win a Steam key. Also, if you record your own gameplay, come through to the Discord in the Submit Your Clip section, drop your cool, funny, kill streak clips, whatever it might be, because when I do the next Top 10 Milsim moments, whoever gets first place is gonna win a Steam key. Anyway, I hope you guys are excited about this. We got Squad, the Vietnam mod coming. We got Burning Lands coming. Now we have this 300, 475. I can't even say that anymore. That's three visceral first person shooters that are coming soon. That's just off the top of the head. There's probably a, at least another. I want to give a special shout out to my channel members, my inspiration. Consider joining the ranks of the Millsimp Minions. Got the blue join button below. I also have a Patreon. And guys, if you shop at Amazon, please use my Amazon affiliate link down below. It's a free, simple way to support the channel. It shows the crappy little headset I use, but once you click there, you can shop for anything. Groceries, whatever you do on Amazon. And it'll support the channel with pennies to the dollar. Again, thank you all for watching. Just liking, commenting, interacting interacting with the video goes a long way and I appreciate you all. I'll see you boys in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.